Yesterday, the USDA released four weeks of weekly export data after the reporting system malfunctioned in August. Now, the bulk release of data didn't hold many surprises, and many of the reports came in line with expectations. The most recent data for September 2nd to September 8th showed net sales of 843,000 metric tons for the marketing year 2022-2023, and over half of that went towards China. Now, combines are starting to roll in the Midwest, which means producers may start selling some of their grain to make room for new crop. Now, historically, this has caused uh, what is referred to as harvest pressure. And if you look at November soybeans over the last 15 years, you can see that they've traded lower between September 17th and October 2nd for 13 out of the last 15 years, with the average decline being roughly 48 cents. Now, outside markets have had an impact on price this week following a slew of inflation data that came in hotter than expected. Analysts worry that high inflation will keep the Fed aggressive in raising rates, which could potentially slow the economy. The concern is that a slowing economy would have a negative impact on future demand, but a lot of that's going to be hinging on next week's Federal Reserve meeting, which will be out Wednesday afternoon. As of now, the consensus is for a 75 basis point rate hike, but one full point cannot be ruled out.